Morning guys, Jess here with Seafood Studio. I hope you managed to get your workout in already today, and if not, make sure you prioritize it. So we are coming into fall. It is one of my absolute favorite seasons, and it is also unfortunately the time that we tend to get under the weather, and especially because it's 2020, we have a whole bunch of stuff we are worried about today and this year. Uh, but there is one thing that you can absolutely do that'll help jumpstart your health and your immune system and also help you overcome whatever illness you find yourself struggling with this year quicker and getting back to where you feel yourself again. Um, it's exercise. <laughs> it's actually, it's cardio. And uh, it might seem counterintuitive at first, especially with traditional flus and colds. Now, keep in mind, I'm not a doctor. Um, but, you know, you want to rest. You want to give your body a chance to recover. And you want to be careful not to, like, just jump feet first right back into the exercise hardcore so that you don't set yourself back but gentle steady cardio that allows your heart rate to get up that allows your body to kind of figure out okay we're doing something uh, I'm, I'm still okay uh, I don't feel really myself but I'm okay I can kind of keep going um, that's really important to help tell your body that it's time to get back to normal and I'm not a doctor and I'm not claiming to be please take this with a grain of salt and ask your doctor but from what I understand and from research that I have you know who googled myself um, COVID if you are unfortunate enough to struggle with that um, it does not act like regular viruses and whereas normally we want to sit still and let our bodies completely recover and let our immune system kind of kick out whatever it is that we're fighting with that particular virus, the, not the more active as in like high intensity interval training. I'm not saying do that. But the more active you are, the, the less the virus can get a bigger hold on you because that's one of the reasons why, uh, from what I understand, uh, we get so lethargic with that particular virus and you know then we have the whole loss of smell and taste thing with the COVID situation because then you don't want to eat and then you get weaker and weaker, right? Woohoo, it sounds like it's a very intelligent thing. So be more intelligent than it and overcome it by continuing to eat regardless of how it feels or tastes and, or, or doesn't and drink that water, try to stay hydrated and then try to steadily move. Now, if you're like, hopefully, um, average folks, <laughs> everybody gets sick, right? Um, regular sick, flu, regular cold, um, give your body a chance to recover but the moment you feel like you have enough energy to do something go for a long walk do if you're a runner go for a small light jog if you're a hard worker out or like i'm a heavy strength person um i did a lot of body weight stuff in the past and i still do anytime i begin to feel under the weather it's my go-to that backs off the intensity of my workout, but still gives my body a chance to work and figure out what it is that I'm trying to do. And it's almost like a test. So if I break out in a cold sweat or get kind of lightheaded or nauseous when I'm doing something like that, that is definitely drastically backed off to what I normally do, it lets me know, all right, I am fighting something or I'm not. But what's nice is that if I am and I do that, and yes, I might experience some of those unpleasant um, side effects, if you want to call them, during my cardio workouts, uh, I actually find that I get better faster. If you are fighting something that's in your chest, you can like, it'll <laughs> generate more productive coughs, you know, to hurry up and get that mess out of there. Uh, so don't, just because if you find yourself fighting an illness this year, especially if it's the big C, um, talk to your doctors. I'm not a doctor. Uh, this is just from my knowledge and experience and what I've seen with people, experience myself, and also self-study. So it's really important to not give up on your workout routine just because you might be fighting a bug, especially if it is a bug that doesn't knock you on your butt. So if you do find yourself struggling with COVID or if you have a cold, but all it is is up here in the head and it hasn't really settled deep into your chest or anything like that. Um, definitely still prioritize your workout. And that is one of the biggest things that nature gave us to hurry up and kick it out and get back to what we're doing. So anyway, uh, it is, what is it? The beginning of, of October. So we're just now getting into the swing of the colder weather. We're gonna be seeing more illnesses, more colds, more viruses, more flu. Um, so, you know, be safe, sanitize, all that fun stuff that you hear all over the place. But 
don't ignore your health. Don't use it as an excuse because you feel bad so you're gonna eat some ice cream. Sugar interrupts your uh, gut from behaving the way it's supposed to when your immune system is housed in your gut. So treat your gut safe, uh, not safe, but treat it well so you can stay safe and keep your cardio and your activity level up so that your body can be like in, in a fighting position to hurry up and overcome whatever illness that the world might throw your way. Uh, if you guys have any questions, we can absolutely help you. We like to really focus on more than just fitness here. We're very much involved in fitness, nutrition, of course, and wellness overall. Uh, it's all about enjoying your life and becoming your best self and really like wiping away any obstacles that you have, no matter what they are. So if you have any questions, reach out to us. Again, keep some of this stuff, you know, you know, in mind, grain of salt. I am not a doctor. We are not doctors, but we do know a lot about how the body works. So talk to us, let us help you. Um, and if you have any questions, hit us up. Have a great day, guys. And remember, prioritize your workout. All right. See you guys soon. Hopefully.